we're going to explore why each state of matter has its own unique properties, solids, liquids, and gases. The properties that we see and observe come from the underlying structure of each state of matter. A solid, such as this ice cube, is able to hold its shape. It's said to have a definite shape. Now the reason solids are able to do this is because they're made up of little particles. And all these particles are kind of like little magnets. They're attracted to one another. This attraction between the different particles keeps them in a fixed position, although they do have some kinetic energy which allows them to vibrate back and forth. This is a structure that gives all solids their definite shape, definite volume, and because the particles are so close together, it makes solids difficult to compress. Now let's take a look at liquids to see how their properties compare to solids. The first thing that you'll notice is that fluids can flow and they take on the shape of their container. A simple experiment will actually give us some clues as to what is going on with its particles. If you add some dye to a cup of water, it will always spread out to evenly fill up the cup. This can be explained by how the particles are moving in a liquid. Unlike a solid, the particles in a liquid are able to freely move around and they collide with each other and can move past one another. It's the movement of these particles that mixes the dye throughout the entire cup. The reason the particles are able to move past one another is they have more kinetic energy. The particles are still attracted to one another, but the extra kinetic energy allows them to keep moving past each other instead of getting locked in a fixed position like a solid. This ability of the particles to move around allows fluids to flow and also change their shape. Even though the particles are free to move around, the attraction of the particles keeps them close together, which makes them difficult to compress, similar to a solid. Here is a syringe filled with a liquid, and no matter how hard you try to press on it, its volume still remains constant. Now let's take a look at gases, which are much different than both solids and liquids. Gases have no definite shape and will spread out to fill their container. You may have noticed this if someone's ever put on perfume and you've still smelled it from the other side of the room. These properties can be explained by how the particles move in a gas. In a gas, the particles have a lot more kinetic energy than in a solid or a liquid. All this kinetic energy allows the particles to move freely in all directions. They collide with each other and they spread out to fill their container. Now if I fill this syringe with a gas and try to compress it, you'll see that I am able to change its volume. And again, this relates back to the particles. Since the particles are spaced so far apart, there's room to push them closer together, which is why you're able to compress a gas. You should now be able to explain why ice, water, and water vapor, which are all made out of the same particle, have such very different properties.